What up, folks? This is Pop Culture. I'm Alex Pop, and I'm here in front of this new Pop Culture banner that was made by my sister. Thank you very much, Allie. And so I'm here today because I just woke up to the new trailer for Transformers The Last Night. Yeah. The last one is usually the best when, it's, when it comes to Transformers. So I certainly hope that this one isn't uh, very much like a, uh, a character featurette, because that's kind of what, uh, what the second trailer was. What are we going to see? Is, are we going to get more Dinobots? Are we going to hear Grimlock speak again? What are we going to see? Stop wondering and just find out. All right, I'm hitting play. Here we go. It started as a legend. Whoa. One of the greatest of all. A thousand years we've kept it hidden to protect Earth from what was destined to arrive. Optimus Prime, you destroyed your home. Oh. Do you seek redemption? My maker, I do. No, Optimus. Your daughter, what would you say to her? Brush your teeth, work hard. Stay away from any boy in a band, especially a drummer. These are troubled times. Without leaders, chaos reigns. Two worlds the arcs. colliding. You're all that stand in its way. And now the greatest mission of them all, to turn the tide of human history. Destruction of everything we know and love begins. I'm not leaving you. When all seems lost, a few brave souls can save everything we've ever known. The operation is over. We're not giving up on Prime, okay? I want to stay. Yeah, I'll give up on Prime. And I want to fight them. My world to live. Yours must die. Don't really think that gives us any uh, any real new information, but uh, man, that that was cool. S so many so many really cool shots. Uh, we didn't get any of the Dinobots though. I sure hope the Dinobots don't get screwed over again. <laughs> okay, I'm filming at night now. I came back because uh, I was considering today uh, something that uh, that Quintessa says to Optimus Prime in this trailer. She tells him, you destroyed your home. So, she could be referring to before the first movie, when uh, Cybertron died. But, I think she's probably referring to the climax of Dark of the Moon, when, Op when, Optimus, uh, when Optimus stopped Sentinel from rebuilding Cybertron in Earth's atmosphere. So, so yeah, yeah, I think this movie is, uh, is tying in with the Dark of the Moon in that sense. And so... So now Optimus has to bring Cybertron uh, to Earth. I, although how does he how does he rebuild that thing so quickly? And uh, so it kind of looks like uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen in the climax of this movie, but it kind of looks like uh, uh, Earth is 
is being uh, is being like cyber foreign because there's one shot where we see one of those one of those tentacle things being forced into the ground, and then other times we see it just being dragged across the earth. So I think that's going to be a really exciting climax. But um, so so yeah, there's still other stuff that I'm waiting to see. I'd sure like to see some uh, some more transformations. I'm really curious to see how Onslaught transforms. He's that giant green tow truck, and uh, and also I really want to see what the uh, what the role of Winston Churchill is in this movie. Michael Bay promises that uh, that Churchill is a big hero in this movie, and he better be because there there really should be a really good payoff to what they did at Blenheim Palace during the during uh, production. So, I so yeah, I'm looking forward to that, and so. There's just there's just two months left. Man, I can't wait for this movie. I cannot wait to have Michael Bay once again rock my world. This is Pop Culture. I'm Alex Pop. Catch you later.